Abs in this race is the top independent right international circuit. It's been a long wait. It's going to be worth our while. Looking forward to one Pirelli Indonesian round in driving rain. They're underway. Good start from Andrea Locatelli. Good start as well from Garrett Gerloff. Progress from way back down the order. Ray recovering as they come in towards turn number one. Bassani and Tati Mercado with a great start. Mercado is up ahead of the BMW boys as Bassani comes firing through on Locatelli. Demonstrates what a struggle it's been so far for Garrett Gerloff. Scott Redding eyeing up a move here on top rack. Raz Gatlioglu. Bassani thinking about a move on the right is ahead of him. He's going to, as they come in towards turn 11. Raz Gatlioglu hanging on, but by the skin of his teeth. Yeah, the run down into 10 four. Feeling pretty confident out there, willing to get himself to the front of the field. Obviously, if you're at the front of the field, you don't have to deal with any of this. The top four from race one earlier on today are doing battle again at the head of the field in race two. Ray comes through. Raz Gatlioglu, Reading Bassani is your new order. Talked all day about Tati Mercado being a wet weather special. A bit of a gap behind the number 36 as Raz Gatlioglu fires through at the start of lap two. Ray will immediate. Well, coming from the back row with the grid into the top 10 and uh, the Japanese rider he goes well in wet conditions which he has ever finished Jonathan Ray out in front Razgatlioglu second there is Mercado leader Jonathan Ray Ray Razgatlioglu Reading Bassani and Vandermark right with them yeah and for Vandermark always goes well in these, condi in these conditions considering it, wet weather had been one of the weaknesses for him but he looks pretty strong at this stage willing to make those moves obviously John Ray Reading Razgatlioglu Bassani and Vandermark Vandermark now within striking BMW package underneath him Reading also looking good at this stage uh, got right onto the tail of Jonathan Ray couldn't so slightly so van der Mark he needs to make that move on Bassani quickly uh, Tati Mercado broadly going with the group a second the gap in front of him though two and a half second the tail and uh, anytime someone runs slightly off the line or uh, makes a slight error or is slightly tentative they're going to be swallowed up by the pack here Scott that having a little bit more size can really help Scott Redding and uh, certainly he's got that little bit more leverage of being one of the tallest riders on the grid. Still just outside of Scott Redding on the exit of uh, turn nine. So Ray desperate to lead from the front. He will be the first to encounter uh, our top world class action. You're getting it right now. This is the first time they've ever been around this track in wet conditions and now they're all really trying to figure it out on the fly. You can see Michael van der Mark at the back. Mark was hoping to run the outside and give himself the inside for the next corner. It hasn't worked out for him. It's Bassani who's made Making pro Bassani, I think he may have been collected by Michael Vandermark there after a bit of a moment coming off the fire. top independent ranking. Unfortunately, his hopes of that end in the gravel track. Yep. And uh, Axel, understandably, very frustrated with that. Well, Garrett Bassani was looking good. He gets moved out of the way by Raz Gatlioglu, and here's going to be the moment for him coming off the final turn. And he does get collected. Entry and uh... Vandermark lifts into the path perhaps of and that one was less contentious Axel Bassani's collision there with Michael Vandermark after already being on but Reading responding quite nicely meanwhile Michael Vandermark getting through on Raz Gatlioglu that's for third former teammates Vandermark and top rack Raz Gatlioglu you can see how much rain is coming down you can see how much gravel was left out in the racetrack as well there but got it done uh, Reading up at the front then Ray in second the gap now over a second to this fight for third position Vandermark trying to come through an attack can't quite get there as they uh, make their way through the right hander when they come across the line the one thing is right now one minute 44 zero was scott redding's last lap time a dry weather lap around here is a the mark to bridge any more of that gap because the pace the front's really fast fine performance though from might never see the light of day scott redding out out the front of the field one minute 43.648 th in these conditions that's astonishing ras gatlioglu again tack top rack though we saw last time around who's a lot faster in the second half of the lap then top rack jonathan ray coming back at scott redding we rejoin the race leading battle and ray has come through on redding and here goes vandermark on ras gatlioglu and quietly nobody knows which way to to recover that third place i said no everyone's got nothing to lose in this race that's how they're approaching it as well good battling between the back down the order tom sykes occupies fifth position kota nazane going to be a career best if he's a three-point margin locatelli at the end of this season as vandermark and uh, ras gatlioglu almost come but it is only a couple of tenths of a second between himself and Scott Redding. Yes, yeah, new personal best from Raz Gatlioglu last time around, but still it looks like Vandermark... Uh, manages to get that corner hooked up really well, and uh, obviously we've seen in the dry conditions how strong top rack is on the brink. But falls Ray or Redding or both out in front, there's not going to be any change other than these two, uh, whether they'll finish... They'll match them to a hundredth of a second. And sticking right with him, uh, less than two tenths as they come across the line to start lap number nine. Mark, so Vandermark recovering that third place. Yeah, Nozane behind us has lost a lot of time last time around, got picked up 
off by Gates still with oh big slide there for Top Rack. He's uh, using the the curves in down the road here. He is on the num on board the uh, number 66. Uh, Garrett Gerloff will be the top independent rider, and uh, Garrett Gerloff has recovered sixth place uh, from Kota Nazane, who's consolidated seventh, but is now as they are. That's Rinaldi gaining back the points that he trailed Andrea Locatelli by coming into this group himself, get himself back into a position to be right on the tail of Jonathan Rabel. Three tenths of a second with a lap and a half lead. Other than that, it's going to be a move down the inside through this section of the track on the last lap. For the leaders, by and large, aside from that uh, crash for Axel Bassani, as Michael Rubin and Al Jonathan Ray may have missed a gear shift there because Renning came powering past in a way that we haven't seen Ducatis do since the beginning of 29. To try and attack him. There's clearly a lot of grip out there in the asphalt here, even in these wet conditions. So Running towards turn 10, though only for the brave that Jonathan Ray might see as his best opportunity to get through a turn. Redding tries to turn. Ray is already there. The pair touch. Ray then sweeps across the path of Scott Redding, coming off turn 10 to recover the lead. Yeah, Jonathan Ray able to make the move into 10. Scott Redding, that chance. He's got good drive through there, though, to get right with Ray. Scott Redding did leave the door open. It was wide enough for Jonathan Ray. Haven't uh, seen any further information about that, but focus on the lead battle. Redding through on Ray. Has he overcooked it? Yes, he has. It's a top rack Raz Gatlioglu at the end of a run of six consecutive seasons, but he is demonstrating just seven seconds back. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu over the line for fourth position. Tom Sykes rounds out your top five. 11 seconds back. Garrett Gerloff with sixth position. Then it's Kota Nazanes. He's over the line in the end for 12th position, but most importantly... The the line to finish off his world SBK career but uh, at the front of the field his long-term rival Jonathan Ray picks up another race victory to say after it well Reading uh, tried his own luck uh, on the final few turns but uh, Jonathan difference between us but uh, a podium for Scott Reading on his sign off from Ducati and uh, you can see for but, uh, for top rack he'll be pretty pleased with the battle he had with Michael van der Mark all the same kind of top rack Raz Gatlioglu wins the championship by 13 points so nobody can say anything about one world title what shenanigans are going on here? Then Ray in the Superbike World Championship, and he comes up with two race victories out of two. Yes, uh, not too surprising, is it? Top rack Raz Gatlioglu is, and Jonathan Ray returns to his old trusty, and uh, the and uh, that's a, a nod to Raz Gatlioglu as much as to anything else. Next year for Jonathan Ray, and uh, back to basics for Kawasaki as well. They need to start to to work to a, a six-year spell for for Jonathan Ray as the uh, the world champion. Yeah, and uh, the, the opening round might have left it in some doubt. Assen might have left it in some doubt. Uh, even his crash in Portimao left some makes his way over towards Park Fermi as well. I said it to you off air earlier on. If Jonathan Ray Gaglioglu on 13 wins, so. Uh, 13 wins and uh, Jonathan Ray also beats top rack for podiums because Raz Gatlioglu finishes down in fourth position. Uh, great sign off last season, but he's not forgotten by them thanks to a world SBK legend and, and thanks from all of us and uh, gave him something to think about at times over his spell with that Ducati factory. Degrees very humid, so uh, you could understand Scott trying to just get rid of as many layers. From the rain, of course, uh, an emotional moment for Chaz Davies, no doubt. Yeah, definitely, and uh, for his team as well, and uh, all the way through, very fitting that uh, Ray and Redding have a battle towards the end of the season. Top has been a big challenge. It is Yamaha who sealed the manufacturer's uh, world title, and